Hi, I'm Rebecca Ball Carcel. Let's take a look at Emily Dickinson's poem, I Felt a Funeral in My Brain. The first thing we need to say is that this is not her title for the poem, it's just the first line, and we refer to Emily Dickinson's poems by their first lines. So, I felt a funeral in my brain. What is it about? I would say that it is a ceremony of transformation. Now, most people read the poem as a depression poem, or a loss of self poem, or a loss of sanity poem. And so this ceremony of transformation they see as a negative. There's another interpretation though, and one that I prefer, and that is that this ceremony of transformation is a good thing. That it is a loss of ego, so that the true self can emerge a spiritual transformation very much like something that happens in deep meditation or deep prayer. So I see it as a spiritual poem that has a positive aspect. But whichever way you see the poem, we can still look at it here in terms of the funeral imagery. She makes a metaphor here where everything that happens is compared to the events at a funeral. So starting with the first line, we have, I felt a funeral in my brain. So whatever's happening mentally, happening mentally or emotionally for her, she's comparing it to a funeral, which is a ceremony. It's a solemn event and typically interpreted as sad, but death can be interpreted as a transformation that is a freeing, a good thing. So we already start here, whether you think a funeral is good or think a funeral is bad, it might depend on how you interpret the poem. But in any case, whatever's happening here, there's a ceremony and a solemn seriousness to it because we have a funeral in the brain. So, I felt a funeral in my brain, and mourners to and fro kept treading, treading, till it seemed that sense was breaking through. So, mourners are walking to and fro. That means the people grieving at the funeral are walking back and forth. Tread means walk. Now they're going back and forth, and she repeats the word treading, treading. So we have this rhythmic sense in the poem. Not only is the whole poem written in a certain rhythm, but we have these repetitions. Now I'll take a little rhythm break here and say that the whole poem is written in the same rhythm as Amazing Grace, a song from the tr Christian tradition. And if you know the Christian tradition of hymn singing, many hymns have the same rhythm to it. da 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 Da, da 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 So amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me is the same as I felt a funeral in my brain and mourners to and fro. So you see she'll keep that throughout the poem with a few variations. Okay, but back to the meaning of this. We have mourners walking back and forth, but then she says that sense was breaking through. And she capitalizes sense probably because um, this is normally something we wouldn't think of as a being, but she thinks of sense as important enough to capitalize. So sense is breaking through. It's as if um, in the midst of this ceremony and the routine of this rhythm of a funeral, uh, something is breaking through that she wants to call sense. Now whether it's reality, is sense, or the normal thinking process is breaking through, or maybe some higher reality is breaking through, if you think this is a depression, loss of self poem, uh, then maybe she's trying to hold on to her regular awareness here with, with senses, her senses, hold on to her senses. In the more meditative spiritual reading of the poem, um, something new is coming through, and that's a good thing. A sense of something else that we're not normally aware of is coming through. Second stanza. And when they all were seated... Now we're talking about the grievers here, the mourners. They're going to sit down. And when they all were seated, a service, like a drum, kept beating, beating, till I thought my mind was going numb. So now we're further into the funeral service. People are sitting down. Now the service is like a drum. And she repeats again, beating, beating. She had treading, treading before. Now we have beating, like a drum. So the service is some sort of uh, rhythmic moment here in the East. People talk about a rhythm sound that comes through when you're in certain meditative states, so that could be referred to. If we're in the loss of sanity, loss of self interpretation, then this is a relentless 
um, drumming that is harming her regular sense of self and the mind going numb is a bad thing because we don't want to lose our sense of regular uh, awareness and aliveness. We, we don't want to be numb and, and without feeling. Now, that sounds pretty bad, but if you're in the spiritual side of the, the interpretation, then going numb is okay for the mind because the mind is not you. In that world, mind is a continuously like noisy thing that keeps saying, oh, look, it's cold out, or oh, look, this tastes like cheese, or, you know, the senses keep the mind very busy. So for the mind to go numb is actually good because that deeper quiet cannot happen until the mind is put to rest asleep. Of course, this is a scary thing if you're on the sanity side. You don't want your mind to be at rest or asleep. Okay, third stanza. 